Today marks the day where it's officially pointless to use tools like ChatGPT. Reason being is because we've developed this new AI that allows you to interact back and forth with existing content and change things live. I know this is like a big buzzword, but I'm gonna show you step-by-step step in specific how this works and exactly how you can use it for your business. So let's break it down. Here's every single thing you can do using our editor in under 30 seconds, including using our AI assistant that allows you to speak back and forth live with the article and make changes. But first things first is the interaction. You can select any part of the article and do a couple of things. First thing is add links. So the AI will read through the article as a whole and then this paragraph in specific, taking into account again the context of the article and find the best places to add links to, giving you the anchor text and where it links out to. You can select the ones you want and then just click off and the links will automatically be added to your article. Now, yes, you can do all this manually, but why would you when you can choose to use AI to do it for you way, way faster? Let's say, for example, I wanna select this part and say, mm, add keywords. Maybe I want the AI to recommend a certain product I have or a service. So maybe I want to tell me, hey, listen, um, add the keyword in uh, gardening tool 9000 or best gardening tools for beginners. And the AI will find the best places in this selected paragraph to add and sprinkle in these keywords. Now, of course, sometimes these keywords might not fit very well without an extra context or an extra sentence. So in this case, the AI will find and give you an extra sentence, okay? So to make sure that the keyword fits in the context of the article as much as it can. So again, this is a whole extra sentence, except. Now, for example, let's say you think this is a bit uh, too short. You can make it longer, right? You can make a list out of it, make a table. So in the case that you think maybe the AI didn't express itself as you wanted it to express, you can just use these little tools. You can make this a table, make a list. Maybe you think that your users better read info, or maybe this info is better explained in a table format, a bullet list format, you can do that as well. Now, you can even add custom prompts, right? You can say, hey, listen, write or make sure every word rhymes with orange. I don't know why you want to do this, but you can. Or for example, write this more tailored towards beginner gardeners and don't use complex terms. So in essence, you can have and add any custom prompt and not just for a paragraph, you can select multiple parts of the article, okay? Now to finish off this part, you can take existing image, for example, this one and say, hmm, add a dog, and the AI will take into account the context of the existing image you're changing, as well as the context of the article as a whole, and add a dog, in this case, to a, a garden-like scenario. So there you go, dog in a garden, okay? So there you go, super simple. Now, let's say, for example, you wanna use the AI assistant. Let's say, in the case you don't like this, this intro, say, huh, I don't like the intro. Make sure it's more tailored towards beginner, gardeners and you mention my amazing product gardener x 9000 i don't know i mean in essence this makes using chat gpt obsolete because you can literally interact back and forth with the article as a whole or a single part of the article and the ai will change things accordingly to the info you give it it's as if you had someone working for you you can just give it tips and give it instructions and it will live change things for you there you go, it removed some parts, it added some parts, you can either accept or decline, right? Let's say, for example, I think this is missing a critical paragraph about how my amazing Gardener 9000 product works. By the way, it, when you give it a sentence, it gives you back info on why it did said thing, right? It doesn't just do it out of random, it gives you the context. So, okay, now add a paragraph titled, the best beginner gardening tool is the Gardener or 9,000. Now again, this product doesn't exist, so it will make things up, but you get the point. And write, and write it, I don't know, write, write it, boom, there you go. So now the AI will add this whole new paragraph I told it to add, titled this exact thing, the best beginner gardening tool is the Gardener 9,000, and write the whole paragraph. And it will find the best place in the article to add this new paragraph to. There you go, so we just scroll down and find the paragraph, it was added right there. So you can accept it. So title exactly as I said it to, and the paragraph as a whole. Now again, you can still interact with the article like this if you'd like, or say, hey, add a link with the anchor text, um, whatever, and link to whatever.com. So anything you want, you can literally interact with the article. You can even say, hey, add an image above the paragraph that talks about XYZ, and we'll add an image, add a video. So it basically does everything you want it to do. 
It's an AI assistant to assist you in improving your content. And soon, you'll be able to give it info about your competitors to make sure your article is better written than theirs and targets more keywords, has more in-depth info, thus in turn making it a better piece of content, thus in theory making it rank higher on Google and any other search engine out there. So this is the power of the editor. Not only the fact that you can select parts of the text and interact with it, as well as using the AI assistant to basically do infinite back and forth with it. So give it a go, click the button somewhere on this page, try it out, I'm sure you will love it, because the best way to really understand how this works is to give it a go for yourself and try it for your own niche. So thank you so much for watching this short demo, and I'll catch you on the next one.